This is Sarah, and pretty much the entire month of January, Mark and I were in soft lockdown because of the Omicron variant. Is that an ass? So we didn't really see much of anyone. Oh my god. I gotta get one of those. As soon as February got started, my best friend began coming over again, and in the time that we were apart, he had started playing the game Horizon Zero Dawn. I am familiar with the gist of the game, like what it's about, what it looks like. He wanted to show me this game because he knew that it was right up my alley, especially now doing all of the gardening. It's got strong tribal nature survival undertones with robots. As soon as he loaded up the game, the very first thing that I saw was the armor that his character was wearing. And it was this, like a tassel bedecked ghillie suit and they were attached to some sort of fish netting. And it very much reminded me of the ivy and the vines that grew on the wall of the courtyard outside of our window when we were living in Europe last summer. I think I've mentioned this, but I really, really enjoyed seeing these vines. I'm from the desert, so being able to appreciate that much lush greenery was a treat for me. So I saw this ghillie suit and I was like, wow, you know, vines, leaves. It reminded me of like, you know, living foliage, which I guess a ghillie suit is supposed to look like that. I immediately envisioned myself wearing something like this while doing my gardening so that I looked more like an appropriate plant mommy for my tomato children. Not that they can see me, but I don't know, in my, in my heart they can. I fancied myself making one of these things, one of these tassel ghillie suit chest pieces. Mark and my friend both mentioned, you know, you should probably look into fish netting, since that very much appeared to be the base upon which all of the tassels were grafted. So I fell down this deep, deep fish netting hole. One of the first things that you learn when looking at fish netting is that you create fish nets using a netting needle. A netting needle is a very interesting tool. It basically allows you to spool an entire bolt of rope in a small compact space that can be fed through the loops of your fishnet with ease. Which makes sense, because I didn't realize this, but many of the fishnetting techniques that involve creating big fishnets are all created from one continuous piece of rope. I created a bunch of different sizes of netting needle and experimented with making different diameters of net, trying to shrink it down as small as possible, or as small as the holes of the netting looked in the armor from Horizon Zero Dawn. I spent eh, a week or so sitting in the greenhouse with chocolate sprinkles, just practicing netting. I'm making a net with chocolate sprinkles. So like knitting, which, I'm not very good at, like, I can't even say that I remember how to knit, but I've tried it before. The feeling of knitting or crocheting has its own kind of umami to it. Netting, like net making, feels like you're stabbing something into existence. Because the, the netting needle kind of just looks like a dagger, like a crude, like, prison shiv or something. And you just feed it through with the stabbing motion and eventually you have this net. So very quickly after I grokked the process and I, I honed in on my chosen strategy for creating fishnets, I produced quite a few garments really quickly. I would call them chest pieces. I invested in two different sizes of natural colored cotton rope. I got three millimeter and two millimeter rope, just to see which was more preferable to work with. I used my mannequin here in my lab and I was able to make a couple of wearables just like right out of the chute within the first week that I was dabbling with this new skill. Because I invested in natural colored rope, I also had to pick up some writ dye to dye it the color that I wanted it to be. And again, I was, shooting for a natural green, like a plant. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's my job. Oh, God. 
I'm like making bad spaghetti in the night. I even really like how the knots are slightly lighter in color. Uh, the thicker udon is still processing because that's quite a bit lighter than the rest. Not quite sure why, but I don't know. I manually dyed my first couple chest pieces and I got interesting results, but they weren't quite what I was going for. So I invested in some pre-dyed rope, which is actually macrame cord. And I didn't know what macrame was either. Apparently really big in the 70s. I wasn't alive yet, so I wouldn't know. Luckily, because this hobby exists, you can get macrame rope for pretty cheap on Amazon. And I got, I think, five different bolts or chunks, rope chunks of colors. I picked up a bunch of greens and blues and have been playing with those. Uh, they match my new watering can and my lime green Crocs that I've been rocking. Realistically, like, there's three different directions I was going to go in from fish netting. There was shibari, nautical knots, or macrame. I did the macrame. But yeah, I'll get more into that in my next video. But until then, as always, keep making awesome stuff out there. Keep being kind to one another, and thank you for watching.